You ready to talk about this F8 Tributo? Hey, what's up guys? David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. This morning I had the camera on one of my screens open and I saw this thing on the outside. And so it confused me a little bit because from the front, which is that camera up there, it looked like a 488, but the headlights were different and I couldn't, the, the lower bumper was different. So I just didn't know what I, was, what I was looking at really. So I came downstairs, came out here, and then I quickly realized it's an F8. Ferrari F8 Tributo. Tributo, Tributo, whatever you wanna say it. Don't uh, burn me at the stake on the comment section. And I was absolutely amazed when I got up close and personal to it. So we've done one a few months back, last year actually, on some Anarchy wheels. So we were the first ones in the world to do aftermarket performance wheels on the F8. But now we have one here in the flesh, here at the shop. We're gonna be doing some Anarchy wheels to it. I can't tease you because I don't even know what's going on it. So typically I'll be like, I'm gonna save that for later, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what's actually going on here. I just know it's an Anarchy set. I don't know the size. Not sure if it's gonna be the 2021 or the 2122, but this is Ben's customer and I trust Ben with his judgment. I think it's gonna, probably gonna be something very, very cool. I've heard whispers that it might be polished dark clear or brushed dark clear, which are some of my favorite finishes from Anarchy. So let's take a look, a walk around it. A lot of the stuff, power wise, is directly from the Pista. And that's about 710 horsepower, zero to 60, 2.8, 2.9, uh, zero to 120 something is about 7.6. So all of the specs were almost identical to the Pista. 211 miles per hour top speed. But once you start approaching it, you see a lot of cool things that they've done. And luckily we have a 488 here as well. So you can kind of see the evolutions of, of all of the styling. The first thing that caught my eye, other than the bumper when I saw it on the camera, was this carbon portion here. I freaking love this because this looks like it's floating, how it's not connected on this side, which on the 488 you see it's on both sides. And so that's a common carbon upgrade option. That one has it. But again, this one has the floating little section here. I, another thing I love is how this side skirt is. Check it out. So my hand goes here and then it runs all the way under and then comes right back out. Now a downside for those that are keeping this car stock is that this portion here, I believe magnifies the terrible wheel fitment from the factory wheels. And see, they're so far in, the monster truck height. Look, my whole, my whole fist, I'm fisting the, the wheel well here. So a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Ferrari's engineers, they engineered it that way, yada, yada, yada. Well, that doesn't explain that when they come out with a hardcore track version of this, why the offsets are always pushed out a little bit more. Interesting uh, discussion. Again, I know I'm going to probably take off a lot of the purists on that, but it is what it is. So. The Anarchy wheels are gonna make it a way more flush fitment, widen the track, which is gonna improve the handling on that. And then kind of moving back towards the back end of this, I think that this is the best looking part of the car. Huge, huge evolution from what the 488s were um, and to an extent what the Pista was as well. My favorite, how the reverse little lights are inside the tail light lamp assembly. You've got the dual exhaust. Down the road, we'll probably change that to something like IPE, which we always do. And then the, this is the, the beautiful part. I think we need Franco to move, stop being lazy, Franco, and get over here. Plexiglass to save weight. You can see the beautiful V8 twin turbo. You know, you, it's a different sound from the 458s, obviously, with the addition of force induction, but that doesn't mean you have to have a car that doesn't sound very good. So with the IP exhaust down the road, you'll hear the turbo spools and whistles a lot more. Um, moving again around to the car, I mean, absolutely beautiful here. You've got the front vent here, which is not as large as on the Pista, but it's still a beautiful design. 
And then one other portion, which I'm sure Frank will get with the B-roll, are these little fins down here, which you can't even see unless you're really far away from the car. So, wheels, suspension, we're gonna lower this bad boy so it's gonna look absolutely incredible. And I'm really excited for this one. I was just kidding about earlier Franco being lazy. He's not lazy. You should have seen him take this box down from the top. It was like 20 feet up. He had a camera in one hand and he had his other, he just, he like literally did this. He brought it down like that. So just kidding earlier about Franco being lazy. But here's the wheels for the F8 that we just did. Now this will be my first time seeing them. As I mentioned, I don't know what they were other than anarchy. So here we are. Nice, 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 nice. So finish, this is not polished dark clear. This is darker than that. This is what some would call polished black. A lot of people will confuse it for chrome black. What Anarchy officially calls it is polished smoke. So this goes in a machine where the aluminum gets tumbled around and it creates a mirror like effect with the polishing. And then it goes into a powder room where they do a really, really dark tint really really dark tints for the polished smoke finish you could also call it polished black the wheel model is the anarchy an 11 so as you can see here by how i'm picking it up it's a lightweight monoblock wheel the sizing we're doing is 21 22 so it's going to be the larger setup that runs a 335 tire in the rear a 255 tire in the front and some would argue it's the better looking one of the two. I am in that field as well. We've done a lot of 21, 22 for this car, but again, this wheel can be done in 2021. And for the real, real, real purists of the F8, it could be done in the factory 2020 sizing, if you don't mind the, the weak fitment, the gap between all of that. So a lot of different options for this wheel. The finish, you can choose whatever you'd like. So if you have an F8, F8 uh, Tributo and would like some wheels, Give us a holler, we'll take care of you.
I'm ready. I'm, I'm all jazzed up about this one. So we have the F8 Tributo completed in about 24 hours. We did filming yesterday of the before and here, voila, is the after. As I promised to you guys, it looks incredible. With the Anarchy lightweight monoblock AN11s, the polished smoke finish, and thank goodness, thank goodness that we got rid of that gap. So to my knowledge, this is the very first F8 with the Novatech lowering springs in the world. Hopefully we release this video very soon so you guys can see it uh, because if we take too long, then you're like, ah, ah, I see another one that's lowered. So the one that we did back in August of 2019, we did a Photoshop drop on it. So it looked a lot better than what it was. But as I mentioned, this is the very first one in the flesh with the parts on the car. Shout out to Novatech for getting that over to us very, very quickly. We love their product. We cannot wait for them to come out with the exhaust systems. We cannot wait for them to come out with the carbon pieces. Just looking at the car, I do see a lot of areas where they're gonna be able to add a lot of carbon to it for those cars that are not optioned with it from factory. So definitely I'm excited for that. Once again, shout out to Novatech. And then back to the wheels, the AN11s, you've got the 21 inch in the front with the Pirelli tires and the 22 inch in the rear with the Pirelli tires. Again, these wheels can come in different fitments. So don't go crying that, you, that they're too big or whatnot. These can come in a 2020 if you want. They can also come in the 2021 setup if you want. So I actually think this looks very, very good for it. These cars have such a wide hip area that a 22 looks normal on the car. It really does. I'm just standing here, I'm not BSing anybody. I look at it and it looks absolutely normal. So I really, really love it a ton. Franco was able to get a photo shoot going, so he was able to drive it. He told me it spooled like crazy, which is very, very cool. We've got the 488 next to it, so I'm taking a look at the engine bays. They look very, very similar, but everything else is just completely different. We've got the stealth white wrap on here with a nice sheen to it. And I love the spec on the interior as well. He kept it very simple. You have a yellow stripe down the middle of the seats. You've got the yellow stitching. You've got carbon on the steering wheels, on the paddles, on the center console area. I really, really like that it kept it simple on this. Nothing too tacky or anything. And then you move to the outside of the car. Keeps the theme with the yellow calipers and the Ferrari crest on the side. So I just think that this is a great, great setup. Um, I mean, there's nothing much else to say about it. If you go to our website, wheelsboutique.com, and you actually go to our Ferrari gallery, you can sort it by different model vehicles. If you jump over to 488, we've got probably close to 30 or 40, and that's just the ones that we had local to us that were pictured. The majority of our customers are not in Florida, and a lot of them are international as well. So that imagine, mind blowing. We've got about 30 different 488s on that website, and all of them are just local to us. We plan to do the same with the F8. We've already got the red F8 that we did in August, and now this one, uh, which is the first customer car. I'm really, really happy about it. I think it's an excellent setup, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you'd like to see for some future F8s, and we'll be able to uh, take care of that for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments. Tell me how I look like a goofball, how I sound like a goofball. I love all those comments. We're gonna do comment of the day in another video very, very soon. I promise you guys. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.